What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and I, if you haven't watched the first video in this series, where I go over Silver Aquaman, do make sure to watch that to know how this series is going to progress in the future. Now go watch that first and come back to this. Now for those who have already watched that, let's get into this. So today we'll be talking about Atlantean Armor Aquaman, and I'm going to be telling you why he is one of the best characters not just for beginners, but for everyone in this game. First, let's do what we always do. Let's take a look at how his gear looks over time. So, um, this is him without gear. This is Atlantean Armor Aquaman with no gear. Um, as you can see, he looks pretty weird. He doesn't really have much on. This is him with a full set of gear. So... Um, a full set of gear would look like this. As you can see, he changed massively, which does not really happen with many characters, but it does with him. And as you can see on the third, third and final picture here is him with fully max gear. And as you can see in um, the difference between these three pictures is massive. So you will be getting some excitement in maxing out his gear, which is kind of fun. Although it doesn't really matter in how the picture looks like. Um, it can be very fun and entertaining. So now let's look at some facts about Atlantean Armor Aquaman. So Atlantean Armor Aquaman is a two-star gold character. He is might class. So Atlantean Armor Aquaman is a two-star base might class hero and the game's premier team regenerator, healing the whole team after every ability he performs. I'll get into this shortly in his passive. Um, now it's really important to note this that this is his passive and if you don't understand what it means, don't worry because I'll get into that soon. Now do remember that you can unlock him with um, 60 shards, which is unlocks him at 2 stars. You can obviously upgrading, upgrade him and I'm going to talk about how you can do that now. So how to obtain Atlantean Armor Aquaman shards. Basically, his um, shorthand name is AAA, Atlantean Armor Aquaman. So how to get his shards? Well, you can get him in the chest, specifically the premium hero chest, which comes once in a while. It has an 8% chance of getting him, I think. I think it's 8%. And he's one of the only gold heroes that you can get in the campaign. So campaign chapter 4 battle 12, you can get his shards from there. Um, so if you want to, go ahead do that real quick because he's going to be vital part of your team. He's going to be a vital part of your roster. So you want to have him in your team as soon as possible. Now let's take a look at his passive. So his passive is called the Water Bearer. As you can see, it's his passive. So don't worry about these numbers. You don't have to worry about any of these numbers in... The abilities I'll be talking about later or the super move or this passive. This not these numbers just show how much um the ability will obviously affect by the level you increase it. So let's take a look at his passive. Healing for seven seconds on the ability end for special abilities to team. Upon each ability used, Aquaman heals his entire team over time. So basically this is the amazing passive. In my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, passive in the game. So every time you use a special ability, it is going to heal his whole team's um, health for 7 seconds. Which is actually a really long time, so you just tag him out. And the whole team, seriously, the whole team um, will regenerate health. And if you keep on using special abilities, after time, they will obviously have full health once again. So it's obviously a brilliant character to have. Now moving on to his ability. His first ability is special one, Pride and Rush. So this ability does not really do much, although it does have armor pierce. So it consumes three bars of power, which means it, it needs three bars of power for it to be active. At close distance, Aquaman stabs multiple times with his Pride now, once you do this, because of his passive, you will have the whole team health regenerated for 7 seconds. I don't recommend upgrading this. 
if you can if you want it's not a bad ability because it has armor pierce but it certainly isn't the best um so ability two i really recommend um building that's his best ability power of neptune special two now this uses five power bars so it needs five bars of power to be active um so this ability drains 1.2 power bars obviously you can increase that over time by um, increasing its level it does a certain amount of damage and it also does hazard dot damage i'm pretty sure all our commands do this except for a few exceptions there are a few exceptions but most our commands do this hazard dot damage so hazard damage our command summons an electrified trap that during contact power drains its opponent while dealing hazard damage over time dot damage now this is a brilliant ability go ahead straight away upgrade this because it's going to have power drain and dot damage it's going to do a certain amount of damage it doesn't really matter um that's going to increase over time as you upgrade the level now once again because of its passive if you do this um your whole team will regenerate health so let's take a look at his third ability from the deep super sorry um, this one, Trident World, Special 3, consumes 7 bars of power, it does a certain amount of damage. At close distance, Arthur twirls his trident into a heavy upward strike, knocking away his opponent. So basically, this, this does a certain amount of damage. It's not an ability I will recommend upgrading at the moment. I really recommend upgrading the second ability, because it does two things at once, power drain and dot damage. Um, but coming back to the third ability, because of his passive once again, if <coughs> sorry, if he uses it, it will increase his, it will increase the whole team's health. It will regenerate health for the whole team. Now let's take a look at his super move. From the deep is a super move. Consumes ten bars of power. Does a certain amount of damage, and it does a certain amount of damage for the duration of the battle. An aquatic ally aids in striking down Aquaman's opponent. This is just a um, regular super move that all Aquaman has. Nothing too fancy about it. But the thing about this is because of Atlantean Armor Aquaman's passive, once again, when you do the super move, his whole team's health will be regenerated. Now do keep in mind that the whole the team's health will be regenerated multiple times. It doesn't just happen once or twice. It happens every time you do a special ability. So now let's take a look at what... Uh, what characters you should um, team up with Atlantean Armor Aquaman. So one important thing to note is that Atlantean Armor Aquaman is a support character because he helps the whole team rather than just himself. That makes him a support character and he's a very strong one. I recommend pairing him up with strong damage dealers because of the fact that Atlantean Armor Aquaman himself is just a decent damage dealer. He isn't the best damage dealer, but that is because he is a primary support character. Another good thing to do is to pair him up with good tanks, which will help his defense. And characters like Silver Banshee or Dr. Fate will be very good. Dr. Fate being because um Dr. Fate being because of the fact that um he obviously reduces his team's power cost. And Silver Banshee just because he's a decent damage dealer. Um, so yeah, pairing them up with strong or decent damage dealers and good tanks will be vital for his survival. Um, and finally, the ranking. What would I rank uh, Atlantean Armor Aquaman? Well, he's a two-star gold character. He is a two-star gold character which you can get from basically anywhere. Campaign Chapter 4 Battle 12, which makes him really easy to get. And because of that, he is going to be very high on this ranking. His passive is amazing. Um, it regenerates health for the whole team. For every special ability used. His specials 1 and 3 don't really do much. But because his passive comes into play, it is just amazing. It does absolutely everything you want a character to do. Special 2 though. Sorry. The special 2 is just great. It does power drain and has a dot damage. And at the same time, while using it, it is going to 
regenerate health for the ho whole team, including himself, because of the passive. His super move is just a regular Aquaman super move, nothing too fancy. And because of all that that comes into play, I'm going to give Atlantean Armor Aquaman a B rating. The second best rating you can get in my ranking. So like I said, there's A to F, A being the best, F being the worst. Um, so I'm going to give um, Atlantean Armor Aquaman a B. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments down below. And please make sure to stick around for the next ones where I'll be doing more Injustice 2 mobile character reviews. And I'll see you guys in the next one.